news updates. Nigeria will fall if Kano dies in detention, says IPOB. You're welcome to today's news and thank you for tuning in to this news. But kindly do well to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. Please listen carefully to the end. The indigenous people of Biafra on Wednesday threatened that should it detain the leader, Unam De Kano, fall in the ends of Nigeria, then Nigeria and our leaders will fall in the ends of Biafra. In a statement by his spokesman, Emmanuel Powerful. The pro Biafran group said it was disappointed in the United Nations, European Nation, European Union, African Union, and ECOWAS for keeping silent why its leader continued to be detained for almost two years by the federal government. The group accused the Supreme Court of Bias in the handling of Kano's case, saying the Apex Court was conspiring with the federal government, which wants our leader to die in detention, giving his ill health. It is also possible that the Department of State Security, DSS, has given him, Kano, a slow acting poison, which is why his health keeps deteriorating to eventually kill him. In what we consider a co conspiracy to kill our leader, the Nigerian Nigeria Supreme Court, the Constitutional Court, refused to entertain an appeal from Kano's lawyers over its deteriorating else. Instead, the APS court gave a wicked long adjournment of four months in the case of an innocent man that appeals of that appeals court justice have discharged and acquitted. In all these human rights and court abuses, there seems to be a conspirator silence among inter international organizations and our athlete human rights organizations as the health of our leader continues to, to, to deteriorate and the federal government refuses to obey lawful orders and the world maintains this criminal silence IPUB will do all within our power to ensure that our leader does not die in detention. Freedom for Kano is the freedom of the entire black race. Kano is not a criminal, he is not a terrorist, nor has he been associated with Nigeria Treasury Lotin, which Nigerian politicians are known for. We are telling the international community and African Union in particular not to blame IPOP for whatever becomes the aftermath of Nigerians' continuous disobedience to both local and international laws in the case of Unam de Kano. Now, we want the world to understand that IPOB is peaceful but understands our rights of self-defense. The gentleness of a tiger should not be taken as cowardice. Those who make peaceful revolution impossible make violent revolution inevitable. Our prayers are that the Nigerian government will do the needful on time because if our leader falls in the ends of Nigeria. Then Nigeria 
and the leaders will fall in the hands of Biafra. Ipop said. When one of our correspondents asked the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Muhammad, for comments, he declined to speak on the issue. Maziruna Bikano, who has been in the detention of the DSS since 2021, when he was extradited and renditioned from Kenya back to Nigeria. And he has been facing treasonable felony. But the federal government has refused to, to de- release him. The federal government is saying that if despite the fact that the court has discharged and acquitted him, that they are still faced on political issues. And Matsunam Dekano has been complaining concerning his health, that his health is deteriorating. He complained about his heart, he complained about his left ear, and they are not giving him the medical attention needed. And now the IPOP has spoken that if Matsunam Dekano falls in the hands of the federal government that is if he dies in the detention then nigeria will also fall and even all the governments that are involved i pub who are peaceful agitators will now raise up to actually go back and also do the needful that is they are going to revenge on the on nigerians and also the the leaders but what what is the main reason why the federal government has refused to release Mazona Mdekano? Mazona Mdekano is actually agitating for a state of Biafra, a, a Biafra agitation which is peaceful, no violence. And even the court is not ready to listen to his appeal. They had to adjourn his case till September. Now he's using up to two, up to two years in the detention and nothing has been done so the ipop have given their final warnings that if he missed if he dies then the, the nigeria should re- should be ready to fall also we have come to the end of the news what's your thoughts to this please share your view in the comment section thank you for staying tuned to the end